Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and today we are going to learn something very interesting in Playwright. We are going to see how we can slow down the speed of execution of our test. So generally, Playwright is very fast, and sometimes you may want to see what is happening on the screen on the browser, and in that case, you may want to slow down the speed of execution. So we will see how we can run our tests in slow motion, and then we will also see how we can. record video of our test execution and both of these features are inbuilt in playwright so we do not have to use any third party tools or any third party libraries all these features are built in within playwright and we will see these options from the config file how to set these configurations from the config file at a global level and we will also see how we can do this at a test level so let's get started and let us see the first step is we will go to our config file and we will add the configuration for slow motion and video recording so i will go to my project so here is my project and i will go to the configuration file so here i have my playwright.config file i will go here and here you will see there is a configuration called cost config and here we can set all these config we have test directory time out etc and here within this option we will add the option for video and slow motion so under cost config you will see a section called use and here it is the use section where we can set all these action time out base url trace so we have already seen a video on how do can we do a tracing so here i will say within this i will say video and you can see we are also getting this auto suggestion box in case you do not get this auto suggestion you can start typing and then press control space on your keyboard and if you still do not get then you must check whether you are adding this configuration at the right location so this i can i will say on and you can see we have all these options i can say on off on first retry retain on failure so as of now i will just say on i want to make it on and then i will give a comma at the end because there is there is more configurations after this and for slow motion we will add a launch option and then within the launch options we will add slow motion so i will say launch options and you can see i am again getting this auto suggestion and this i will add within these curly brackets because we can add many launch options so i will say slow motion this is slow mo and then i will give the milliseconds so the number that you give is milliseconds and 1000 milliseconds means 1 second and basically when we say slow mo 1000 that means we are going to slow down all the playwright operations by 1 second and of course at the end of the curly bracket after the end you will give a comma because there is more configuration after this and this looks fine there are no errors so you can save the file and here uh, as i said slow motion will slow down the playwright operations by the specified milliseconds and for the video recording we have all these options on means it will record for each test off means it will not record the video retain on failure it will record for each test but then remove for the successful test runs and you will get videos only for the failed executions and then on first retry this can be a very common option that is do not record video for each execution because that can be uh, that can hamper the performance so only record video on the first retry and we can set the retry count as well so we have seen this in one of the earlier session that we can set the retry count so here if i show you uh the retries you can see this is i have commented out we had set this retries to 1 so this can be a very common option and then you can save and run and here once you have added this video option as on you will see the video appear in the test results folder so let us see this i have made these configurations i have added these configurations here and now i will go to any of the tests so let us go to our login demo test that we created in one of the earlier sessions so here we are going to this uh, application and then we are doing a login here so let us run this 
So here we have we actually have three tests. You can take any of your earlier test or any of your existing tests. I am saying test dot only here, so it will only run this one test out of this file. So I will open my terminal. You can press Control plus J on your keyboard to open the terminal, and here I will say npx playwright test and i want to run this specific test so i will say this file i am pressing tabs to auto complete all these names and files and i want to only run on a single browser so i will say project hyphen hyphen project and i will say chromium and then i want to run in a headed mode so that i can see the execution so i will say hyphen hyphen headed and i will run this command so let us see so it opens the browser and uh, it has opened the playwright inspector because we had this pause option here so let me comment out this pause from here and let me see if there is any pause statements yeah this was the only statement and i will save and for now that is fine i will just resume this execution here and you will see this should go to this page and you can see it has slowed down the execution. It is running very slowly, otherwise it is very fast. It is sometimes uh, not easy to see exactly what is happening on the screen, but now because we are using slow motion, so you can see all these actions have slowed down and everything has passed and now we can check the report. So you can see NPX playwright show report. and this will open the report and this is our test and here you can see all these tests and we can also see the video recording so we have got this video recording here in the report file and you can see the video now the video will also be recorded in the slow motion as we have uh, slowed down the execution so you can see it is recorded in the same pace and this can be handy because sometimes uh, it is very fast and even in the video you may not be able to see exactly what is happening so you can slow down and if you see one second or 1000 milliseconds uh, is something which has slowed down a lot you can use like 500 milliseconds or 100 milliseconds whatever you feel is good and then i will also check in my folder so i will go back and see in my test results folder you will see this video is recorded here this video file is here i can open it in a file explorer so i will say reveal in file explorer and in the test results folder i have got my chromium because we have executed only on one browser and you can see this is the video that got recorded and we can see this video recording here so we have got our video recorded and the execution is happening in a slow motion now uh, this slow motion is a field in the browser type launch options class and you can also see from this link. So if I go to, let me show you here. If I go to playwright, browser type launch options and you can see, you can go to the docs here and here we can see this is the we can you can check whatever is the latest version and here is the class browser type launch options let me re reload it browser type launch options and you can see all these fields so we have all these fields here and if you see slow motion is also a field here so here slow motion slows down playwright operations by the specified amount of milliseconds and useful so that you can see what is going on and there are many other options here we can set the proxy we can set the headless mode all this we can set from these launch options now here this is how we do it from the config file now we can also set it at a test level by using the browser context now browser context in playwright uh, we can create a new browser context which will be like a, a incognito isolated context of a browser and then we can 
uh, create a context and page within that browser. And this will be very handy when we do multi-window or multi-tab application testing. And even when we do not explicitly create a browser context, Playwright always creates a isolated incognito browser context. So for this, I will first uh, remove these global configurations. I will go to my config file and I will remove all these video and launch options, slow motion. And I will comment out, I have selected everything and pressed control and forward slash on my keyboard to comment all this. And now uh, let me create a new test. I will go to my tests folder and I will create a new file. I will say slow motion underscore video recording underscore demo dot spec dot yes, you can name it anything. I have named it this slow motion underscore video recording demo dot spec dot js. And here I will say import. So let me say here import and I will import a uh, test and expect libraries from the playwright test package. And then I can create a test block. I will give the title. I will say slow motion and video recording demo. And then I will create a async function and give this arrow symbol and a curly bracket start and stop. And now I'm not going to send the page fixture here in the earlier examples, we have sent a page fixture and then we start saying page dot go to and create our test here. I will now say, uh, I will launch the browser first. So in playwright, we can create isolated incognito browser sessions using the browser context. So I will say here, const browser equals, and here I will say, await chromium.launch or await firefox.launch or await webkit.launch, whatever browser you want to use. So I will say await chromium.launch. And you can see as I'm typing, I'm getting all these auto suggestions. And now within this bracket of chromium.launch, we can give some configuration and I will show this in a moment. But before that, let me also say context and I will say await browser dot new context. So I'm creating a new context here. And again, we can give a curly bracket here and then add some more configurations. And I am creating a page. And here I will say await context dot new page. Okay, so this is how we create a browser context. And now I can just say I can keep on uh, adding my test, I can now create my test as usual. I can say page dot go to, and I can give the URL and everything will be as it is from now onwards. So this is how we can create a browser context and make sure that you close the context at the end. So after your test, you should say await context dot close. Okay. So this is how we create a browser context. Now for setting the configuration for slow motion and video recording from within the test, we will create the browser context. That is step number one. We have already done that. And then we will add the options for slow motion in the browser and then the options for recording in the new context. And then we will close the context. So let me show you. This is how we do that in the browser here in the options for the browser launch, we will say slow motion. So I will say here within the curly brackets, I will say slow motion and you can see I'm getting this auto suggestion and you can move it to a new line for easy readability. So if I press control space bar, I'm getting this slow motion and I will say, uh, let us say 500 milliseconds. And then you can also set other options as we have seen here all these fields you can set here. So you can set slow motion here. Then we can set headless as well. So I will say headless as well here. 
and I will say headless is false. That means I want to run in a headed mode. So these two options you can set in the new browser launch. And then for this video recording, we can set in the new context. So in the new context, I will again give a curly bracket start and stop. I will move to the next line for easy readability and I will say record video. I'm getting this auto suggestion. And here I have more options. First, I will give the directory where I want to save the video files. So I will say, I want to create a new folder called videos. And here I want to store the video files. And then I can also set the size in which I want to do the recording. So here I can say, I can set the height and width. So I'm saying width should be 800 and height I can set to let us say 600. So I can set the viewport size or the screen size for video recording like this. Okay. And then I can create my rest of the test. So let me just copy the test from my login demo so that we can save some time. And here I will start from going to this link and until clicking on the login button. So I'll just go until here. I will copy these steps and paste it here. And then at the end, I will also close the context. So let me show you, this is my test now. I will show you this. This is my test now. I have created all these browser context. And then this is my test, which is going to this link and sending, setting email and password. So it first, selects all that is written and then adds the username in the username field, then goes to the password, selects everything by pressing control A and then adds the new password and then clicks on login button. And then we are closing our context. So let us now save this and I will run. So here on the terminal, I will say, npx playwright test and I will go to the test folder and the name of my file is slow motion underscore video recording underscore demo dot spec dot js and here I will I only want to use the chromium browser so I will say hyphen hyphen project chromium so let me show you the complete command this is what I am saying, hyphen hyphen project chromium. And I do not have to say head, uh, headed, hyphen hyphen headed because we have already set this headless false here. So this is what I am running now. And I will run and check. So I have started execution. And let me see, yeah, it is running. And you can see it is it has slowed down by half a second because we have set 500 millisecond and everything is passed. And now I want to check I will check the report first. So I will say npx and npx playwright show report. And you can see this is our report here. And here is our report. And now I also want to check if we have got the videos folder. And yes, we have got our videos folder and this is our video. Let me go in the file explorer and go to the videos folder. And here we have got our video file so I can run this video file and you can see this is our video recorded with 500 milliseconds of slow uh, slowness in the execution. And this is how we can set this configuration for uh, slowing down, down our execution and also recording the video. I hope this was very useful for you. If you have any questions, you can let me know. You will find all the steps, all the links in the description of this video. And I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.